Well, an emotional apology from the owner of California Chrome, the racehorse whose bid to win the Triple Crown came to an end at Belmont. Our John Gonzalez shows us the controversial comments and today's tearful about face. Steve Coburn says he just got way too emotional on Saturday. He even compared the race to someone 6'2 playing basketball with a child in a wheelchair. Three days later, he's apologizing. Were you I just caught up so in so much for this horse to win the Triple Crown for the people of America. It was a stunning end to what would have been a Cinderella story. California Chrome losing at the Belmont Stakes and falling short of the prestigious Triple Crown. But it's what his owner did afterward that created more headlines. It's all or nothing because this is not fair to these horses that have been running their guts out for these people. This is the coward's way out. Not even his wife could calm him down on live TV. All right. If people could have seen behind the scenes, the children he talked to, the children he embraced, a little young lady in a wheelchair at uh, Preakness, he handed her a bouquet of black-eyed Susan. Steve Coburn initially said the race was not fair because a fresh-legged horse that only ran in the Belmont won after passing on the Derby and the Preakness. I apologize. I sincerely apologize. Today on Good Morning America, a much different man. In an emotional plea, he apologized profusely. Very ashamed of myself. Very ashamed. I, uh, I need to apologize to a lot of people, including my wife, Carolyn. In the last eight Belmont races, six of the winners skipped the Kentucky Derby or the Preakness. The last Triple Crown winner, affirmed in 1978, did beat out horses who only ran in that race. I was wrong. Perhaps one reason for the defeat, California Chrome did suffer a minor injury to his foot at the start of the race. His trainer says he's expected to make a full recovery. In the Satellite Center, John Gonzalez, ABC 7 News.